So it's been a very exciting year for, uh, for us. Actually, uh, most people think of CDN as a single business model. It's actually separated into two distinct dis uh, business models. One is very focused on uh, applications, acceleration of um, dynamic applications over the, over the web. So it's a multi-billion dollar industry where applications on private networks running over MPLS, ATM, um, are actually coming to the web. So it's very B2B enterprise focused. Um, and it has a lot to do with, not has very little to do with caching, which is typically associated with CDNs, but has to do with accelerating uh, dynamic uh, applications. The other business model is uh, where um, it's focused on over the top video. So the transformation of linear broadcast uh, TV to an interactive uh, uh, medium over the internet. It's actually what this show is very focused on because uh, uh, there's going to be, you know, 97% of all internet traffic is going to be video. We all know it. To, uh, um, and so we're preparing for that world. So um, both of those business models are actually taking off this past year. So it's a very exciting uh, time for us. Talking about the two different business models, uh, the first one for the B2B space, applications are getting much more sophisticated, uh, much more dynamic, uh, uh, transaction related, uh, very interactive. Um, so being able to accelerate that on a customer by customer ba basis is very compl complicated. It's not just a simple cache that you can throw in the mix. Um, it is working with our uh, content providers to custom tailor their uh, centrally developed applications on a, on a global basis. Um, so very uh, complex rules there. And then on the video side, on, on the other business model, um, I would say it's the interoperability with operators and telcos and figuring out what the right model is um, so that uh, everyone in the value chain can get uh, the right piece of financial incentive. Um, so, uh, you know, the, the whole concept of the IP or internet having a monetization method, um, since IP was never built with that, um, it's, it's pretty interesting things that are going on right now. Right now, I would say the B2B application sp uh, space is about 30%. So a lot of folks call that value-added uh, services. So, um, but over time, I, I think it's going to be about a 50-50 mix. Um, just because even though the sheer volume of uh, video traffic will, will, uh, will increase, um, the prices are coming down as well. So over time, it should be an even mix between the two. One of our big uh, differentiators at CD Networks is, is our you know, a global network. So we're, we're, we've been uh, in existence for about 11 years, 12 years now. So we are continuing to expand in all the most the challenging markets. So we're very strong in China. We're the only global CDN with uh, points of presence within China. We just uh, announced a deal with uh, Megaphone in Russia, also uh, Jap uh, KDDI in Japan. Um, we're extending into South Africa, the Middle East. So basically for the uh, B2B markets, wherever their, their applications are pushing, that's where we're pushing. So um, it, it's a global world, and so one of our biggest differentiators in our strategies is to, is to push out to uh, every place that, that our customers are going. Um, and then on the uh, video side, it's all, all about performance, scalability, scalability um, uh, uh, keeping up with the new technologies and formats, and again, uh, partnering up with our telcos and, and operator partners. Um, and then meeting with that, uh, um, you know, making sure that our content provider uh, customers are, are satisfied with our interoperability with the telcos.